The Royal Rumble is 31 days away, so it's just January 27th. And uh, first off, I want to wish everyone a uh, Merry ha Merry Christmas. I want everyone had a Happy Holidays. And, uh, you know, just hope we have a new good new year. And uh, we have, well, this is going to be a short one because, honestly, you can't predict the Rumble. And let me just say right now that uh, 30 superstars from Raw and SmackDown, you know, we don't even know who's in the Rumble yet. We'll, we'll update that throughout when we know who is in the Rumble match. Hopefully it'll be a 30-man and not the 40-man clusterfuck that we saw a few years back. Now, there is one match we do want to talk about, though. And that is The Rock facing whoever the WWE Champion may be at the Royal Rumble. The reason I say that is because CM Punk came out of an injury recently, and he's going to face Ryberg at the uh, one, not, not 1,000, but he, uh, at the New Year's edition of Raw. Since, uh, since the match they're having at the TLC is only probably to make it a TLC match for Bayview, and this is kind of weird because Punky is coming off a, of a, of a uh, injury, and I didn't even know he was going to be able to defend the title due to the 30-day defense clause in the, in the, with the title to begin with. But people have been thinking, what will happen if The Rock beats CM Punk? I don't think it'll happen personally, and here's why. The Rock has a lot of movies going on as of late, and you know he's he's got movies, he's got press releases, he's got all kinds of things going on. And honestly, although it would be a really good publicity for the WWE, and hopefully it would bring back get rid of the fucking spinner in the process. And bring back the Undisputed Belt, which I wanted for so long. But, uh, with that being said, The Rock has a bunch of movies coming out. He's doing a bunch of movies as we speak. I think I think he's doing another G.I. Joe. I'm not quite sure. I'll double check that to make sure. But I, I believe it's a G.I. Joe or Fa one of the Fast and Furious movies. Or something. At least it's not fucking Two Fairy 2. That would be horrible. But, <laughs> if The Rock did win. And let's say he won an elimination chamber. I'm playing devil, devil's advocate here, so why not? I need a way of time to fill. But uh, with The Rock, if he did win, and if he did show up at the elimination chamber and won, that would mean whoever won the Rumble could face The Rock at, the, at WrestleMania. And much like if a young gun beat The Undertaker at WrestleMania ending the streak, a win over The Rock at WrestleMania for the title would be a push, a major push, for that superstar, making you, it would make them a legend, a future legend, if I will. You know, and it might actually make them to that next level, to that top tier talent status. However, the same can be said if you beat Punk at WrestleMania for the title. But it all comes down to what will happen this week on Raw. As the new year starts to come, in this 2012, we survived the fucking Mayans. <laughs> they were wrong, like I've always said. So fuck you Mayans. But, by the end of the year, who will be the WWE Champion? Who will be in the Rumble? We'll find that out in over a month.